One of the things today that we'll do, and I'll pray with you, uh, is uh, repent. Right, right. That's number one for not trusting God. Right. That's what fear is all about. We're afraid. We're not trusting the Lord. Lord, I don't know that you're going to be able to do this. I mean, here we might not think that, but our actions prove otherwise, right? And so it's, Lord, you know, and I'll do that. Lord, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not having an issue today trusting you. Forgive me. I mean, just be honest with him. He knows your heart anyway. That's number one. Then number two is I renounce fear. I speak to that spirit of fear, and I renounce you. I come out of agreement with you. I will not allow you to have any kind of jurisdiction over my mind, and I forbid you from being in operation. Three, then I'll, I'll, I'll decree the word. Lord, your word says you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for a peace that passes all understanding. I thank you, Lord. You know, and this is how we do it. Now, I've had to have deliverance. Where, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, Christian can't have a, a spirit. Well, I cast them out all the time. <laughs> That's why I beg to differ with you. Because we're not possessed. But a lot of times from previous, uh, you know, from our previous lifestyle, there's doors that have been opened up that need to be closed. And so, listen, I just said, to, I said, God, I'll do whatever you say. I just want freedom. I'm not going to get this, this religious, uh, you know, uh, theological doctrine as to why. Are you battling and have you had freedom? That's just the bottom line. You want freedom? Then we're going to deal with this. I'm not going to have a dissertation about this or a debate. You want freedom? We'll pray for you. You want to stay where you're at? Keep your arguments. That's where I'm at at this point, to be honest with you. I've been doing this a long time, <laughs> and I've seen too many people live in bondage when they didn't have to, then I've seen too many people gloriously get set free. And Jesus came to set the captives free. And so that's my hope, and that's my desire, and I know that's my husband's. We, we love seeing freedom. We love seeing bondages broken. You know, I was bound. I remember saying to my husband, and I, I said to him, don't you dare respond to me. I said, oh, my God, I can't believe how bound I am because I struggle so much with fear. And he looked at me. No matter what he said, he would have been wrong. He could not have said anything right at that moment. I have to admit that. Don't you dare respond. <laughs> but I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, when my eyes, when the veil was removed and I saw how I was allowing my flesh to dictate my emotions, faith is not an emotion. It's not, it, we don't live by our emotions. We live by faith. The, you know, and this is my stance. Lord, your word says this. I don't care what my flesh feels. Here's what your word says. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me, period. Basta. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And my life slowly turned around and, and just that, that the fear. So then there was fear and there was depression. There was rebellion. You know, rebellion and rejection work together. There was this whole, you know, grouping. Spirits work together. Right. There was a whole grouping that, that the Lord had to set me free from. But here's the thing. It's not complicated right. because you don't have to figure it out. Right. God does it for you. You just surrender. That's the beauty of the Lord. It's not a complicated. The gospel's simple. It really is simple. And the Lord needs us free to minister. We want to bring those people in. You know, we, I've been ministering a lot to people, really making it my point to, to minister the gospel to people. You know, it, it, make that a goal each week that, that you're going to zero out some person and minister the gospel. Bring them to church. Get them cleaned up here. Cast those suckers out of them, you know? And listen, I'm going to tell you something, especially with the way the world has lived, with, with what the media has projected. With You can have sex with anybody you want. You don't even have to be married to have sex. Um, that, I, I've heard people say, well, we love each other and we're going to have sex. No, the Bible says flee fornication. And there are reasons for it. So that he's protecting you because then you get soul ties. When you sleep with an individual, when you have, I'm going to be really honest, when you have sex with that person, the spirits that are in them come into you. See, that there's soul ties that happen. The, the Bible's, I mean, you know, the world's saying that you can, this transgender thing, it's not that we don't have heart for the people that are struggling, but now they're trying to say you can't even pray for people like that. Uh, homosexual agenda. Read the Bible. 
in Genesis, male and female. I mean, that to me is just so so there in your face. And then you have people that want to argue with you and tell you that it's not biblical. I mean, that it's biblical, but it's not. Listen, God has guidelines in it not to be, you know, this, oh, you know, prudish group of people that are going to be self-righteous. That's not it. It's the love of God that we speak truth in love, not look down at the person and treat them like they're dirt, but we honor and we speak the truth in love. The occult. Let me just say this. Uh, I, I still know people that, that have their kids reading Henry Potter. Well, if you want them to learn about putting curses on people... Let them read it. The, we have to, you have to be informed as to what, what is happening. Now, you think now this thing isn't going to open up a spirit of fear in kids? Or some of those games the kids are playing, some of the movies they're playing? Come on. We're casting the demons out of the people. You know, people are like, oh, you're so fanatical. Well, yeah, I am. Because I want the people to get set free. And you know what? I tried it. I, li I love the Ouija board. I love going to get my cards read and tarot readings and all that stuff. And let me tell you something. You want to open yourself up to something and have more demons come in, go ahead. But see, Jesus is saying this. It's an abomination to me. It says it in Deuteronomy 18. It's an abomination because he knows that, that it's, it's idolatrous and you're bowing your knee to something other than Jesus Christ. And Jesus is saying, listen, I love you too much. And I don't want you to have to go through this. It's not when you, when you fall in love with the Lord, the Bible says that you hate what God hates yeah. and you love what God loves. Right. There's a fear of God. There's a holy reverential fear of the Lord. That, that, that's the difference when it's, Lord, I'm doing this because I love you. Not because someone put a gun to my head and said, oh, you, you know, don't smoke pot anymore. Or, you know, you can't do lines of coke. Well, what does it do for you anyway except get you broke? I mean, Jesus is free. The Holy Spirit's free. You can get a natural high. It's way better than anything like that. Trust me. For those of us who've been there, we know it. <laughs> 